I would describe myself as a musical magpie. Composers fall into two categories with all sorts of shades in between. There are explorers and there are magpies. Explorers are those like Debussy who are called to explore new sound worlds, to discover whole new realms that nobody knew existed. Um, Boulez is a very good example of that. I hugely admire them. And then there are magpies, those who take the sounds that are in the air and just make something of them. They gather a bit of this and a bit of, a bit of that. Eclectics. And I think that's more the sort of composer I probably am. Um, you would be hard put to it to find anything very new in what I've written over the ages. Um, and it is ages now. <laughs> but um, at the same time, I hope that taken as a whole, I speak with my own voice because I think it's important for a composer to do that. There's no mileage in just mimicking what someone else has done before you more successfully. You have to be yourself, but I'm happy to use the kinds of sounds and structures that have been there in some cases for centuries. But I always liked to write a tune because I think a tune is a wonderful way of carrying the message of a text right into people's hearts. It's a kind of vector that will just bring the meaning of a text right into somebody's soul.